This is the battery that was in my Phantom 4 Pro when I crashed it. And as you can see, the battery is damaged. I would never use this battery to fly again. But uh, curiosity has got the best of me, so I'm going to try to take this apart. I'll take it apart destructively, uh, just because I'm not going to use it again. Uh, so I'm not really concerned about putting it back together. Yeah, and this is actually a Phantom 4 battery, so the capacity is a little bit less than a Phantom 4 Pro. So before I get started, I'm going to say this a couple times. Don't do this. Don't do this at home, at work, or anywhere. I'm doing this so you don't have to. So looking at the battery here, I see this end here is held in with uh, tabs here. I can kind of see the tab here. And then we have a frame here that's kind of holding on the back part. And so what I think I'm going to do is if I cut this frame here, that's going to take all the strength out of the back end. So I'm going to find a good spot. And we have that support cut. Of course you want to be careful <laughs> that you don't get too close to the batteries. And that's cut. And, yep, that's cut too. So I'm just going to kind of cut through that. Take my screwdriver. And now we'll go to the back side here. And do the same thing. There. Now, looks like my connector is still stuck. So, I'm going to see if I can pry around that. Let me open that up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to try to uh, pry the connector away from the case. There we go. And We can see the connector in here, and we can see uh, ribbon cables here. And we'll get a close-up. We can see the circuit board here. And we can see the connecting cables underneath. So now let me see if I can't disconnect some of the cables here. There's one. And actually there's a little one there. I'm just going to cut him. And the other cables look 
like they're coming from the battery or somewhere underneath. Right here we've got a black one and a red one which usually means positive and negative. And I'm just going to have to cut those. And we'll cut the red one now. And here we have a ribbon cable that's kind of glued on. So we'll just give her the old cutarooski. And so this is what we have now. Uh, let me remove this protective tape here. And I don't think that protective tape is going to come off. So I tried to peel off some of the tape there, and now what I'm going to do is uh, switch over to the front here, see if I can't get the front off, and see how I can do that. I think I can get in right here. Once again, I'm going to cut some plastic to kind of weaken it up. Okay, I can see there's a couple tabs holding this on. So there's a tab right there and a tab right there holding the front cover on. Okay, there's a little ribbon cable there. I'm going to continue to pry this cover apart here, the front cover. Let's see what's underneath that. So we have a little circuit board here, and we have a push button, that's your push button right there. And there's your LED indicators for the charge of the battery. And that was connected by a little ribbon cable that I broke off. And so there's the front cover. Uh, we can see the push button right here. And that would go through and hit the little push button on the circuit board. And then we can see the LED light indicators here. And there's the LEDs. 
This happens to be battery number two. I had five batteries and uh, I actually use this battery a lot. This was a good battery. And now I want to expose the cells here. So Looks like we have some tape wrapped around the battery. And that was the ribbon cable that went up to the front of the controller. And here's one of the side panels. And there's another side panel. Now we can see that uh, this is where the battery got damaged, right here. Right there. And we'll take that tape off. And this exposes the four cells. So this is a four cell battery. Yep, you can see the distortion in the top of the battery. Let's see, right here. And this is the area where it started heating up. Now the batteries are actually uh, taped together. And so I took my utility knife and just sliced through the tape. And now I'm just going to Pull this apart. They're taped in the front too. There we go. And we can see right here, it looks like we're connected to the circuit board right here. So by taking my nipper, I just nip that one end off. And we'll do the same to the other side. Okay, we have one battery disconnected. Okay, there's the second battery. We'll pull the tape here in the front. Actually, I can just tear that one off. And this is the uh, damaged battery right here. Okay. And here's the third battery. That one there is actually kind of bold if you look at it. Uh, let's see if I can get a shot here.
it's kind of dish shaped here. And here's the last battery. And that one's pretty straight yet. And so I was able to peel some of this tape off here and we'll come down and get a close up of it here. We look at the back side. This is where all the batteries connect. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 and here. So if we look at it on the other side, this is what we're seeing right here. Now I was able to peel part of this metal back. So I was able to cut one of these out of the circuit board. But I don't know if they uh, just connect the batteries together or if it's part of the uh, a safety circuit you know like a short protection uh, I do not know and now looking at the battery we can see there's two sections of the battery one right here and one right here if we look at the end we can see the individual connectors coming out right here here, here, and here, and then the same on the other side here. And now here I have the two individually separated. And now we're going to start peeling this away. Very carefully. So we can see that that's what one part of the battery looks like. Right there. And looking at one of the batteries here, we can see we've got 20.33 watt hours it looks like. 3.8 volts. And so there we have it. The teardown of a DJI Phantom 4 battery. And so we kind of saw what's inside the battery. Uh, we saw the circuit boards. Uh, we saw the batteries. We saw how the batteries are connected. And we actually saw what it looks like inside of a lithium battery. Hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, don't do this at home.